So when your parents say next time, Carrie, you're watching too much TV, you can say, ah, ah, ah. I can learn something from this. <laughs> <laughs> Learning something, that's always the key. Sometimes it's mindless television, but I like that. That's a really cool story. All right, let's get a look at what's going on here as we get a live view in San Francisco at the airport. Maybe you're headed out of town for the weekend. Let me show you how windy it's been over the past 24 hours. I'm showing SFO because that was one of the spots that measured, oh, some of those wind speeds. It was at about 45 miles per hour, but it just dropped off the screen there, mostly at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Let's go through what it'll be like for the rest of today with those winds coming in from the northwest at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. But look at later on this afternoon. These winds are going to continue to pick up and we could see them as high as 35, even close to 40 miles per hour once again along the coast and in some of our North Bay Hills. For the inland areas, it's still going to be pretty breezy at about 15 to 20 miles per hour, maybe even a little bit higher going through the Tri-Valley as well as the Altamont Pass. Going into tonight, the winds start to calm down and we will have a calmer weekend ahead as we look at our temperatures that will reach into the upper 60s and low 70s. So let's talk about some places where you may be headed this weekend, hitting the road to Sonoma Valley. It's going to reach 70 today, 73 tomorrow. What a beautiful weekend. I think it's just going to be so comfortable and nice for those outdoor activities. If you want to take a long drive, windows down along Pacific Coast Highway, Here's a look at our temperatures in Big Sur, reaching into the mid 60s today, 62 tomorrow, and then some upper 60s by the end of the weekend. But it looks like that fog kind of stays a little bit farther off the coast for a little while longer. All right, so as we look at the forecast for the Sierra, we've been seeing these storms popping up. That will be the case again tomorrow. We've been giving the heads up that we could see some thunderstorms there, as well as the snow that's been falling in some of the upper elevations. That's been nice to see, especially considering. Considering that we do have this ongoing drought, any rain is better than nothing. And there still will be that chance that the North Bay and some of our mountains could also get in on a chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. We dry out next week for the most part for the first part of the week, but there may be some showers on down the line once again for this year and not for us. So here's a look at our seven day forecast. Some mid 70s today and tomorrow. Low 80s on Sunday. Monday is when we warm up, but this time the warm up doesn't stick around. We're going to cool off again as those storm systems move very close by the Bay Area. A lot of changes in our temperatures, Marcus, but as far as the rain chances, nothing going on there.